Savage. It's a small illustration with a big story. Well, big because I made it so. I've for the first time filled my drawing with so many real characters. Here are five real people. And during drawing this I got an idea to actually contact them and let them know that they, for those short term, were my muses. And they are on my drawing. Because to how many 15 minutes muses you say in good things? Only the long term muses get in all the fame and glory. The thing is that I didn't know personally most of my muses and two of them I saw only on one photo which I found in internet and I would never recognize them on street. That was making the process of contacting and searching for them more entertaining for me. I got an idea to find all of them and film them and I asked them to write three very random facts about themselves. I on purpose won't mention who actually they are, what's their job, how old they are, where are they from, because these things, in my opinion, are not saying anything about personality. And it's more valuable for me to hear about habits and weird facts from people whom I don't know. Because how often we say something more interesting than hi, how are you, to strangers. Okay, let's go to the beginning. Why the illustration is called Savage? It's simple, Savage is a nightclub located in Hanoi. I'm not really a fan of night, night clubs. I'm a pretty old-style girl who likes The Doors, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin and prefers cocktails and comfortable bar chairs instead of mixed drinks and a dance floor. But inspiration is such a thing which can come, of, come out of any unexpected corner. At first Savage was located at another spot and I attended only one party, the last one. I just recently arrived to Hanoi and party was an, at 18th of January. Then the doors of Savage were closed until 12th of June. I was mesmerized by the new location and the house itself. The white house is drowning in trees and bushes and wrapped in bindweed. From one side it's surrounded by a frail fence, here are some leftover structures from gardening, which look like trash already, but they still being used. And the lake with water lilies hugging two sides of building. Pretty, po pretty poetic for a nightclub, yeah? So it was 12th of June and I didn't catch the vibe of those party at all. I didn't feel like talking, neither dancing, neither having a drink. I was an outsider those evening. But I definitely caught something more important by just looking at the party from sight and not participating. Everything started from this photo. I was standing there and looking at those lights and pipes and air conditioner and laser reflection. People were, were dancing, moving around and nothing special, but I made this unattractive pointless from first two picture, which was based for my illustration. So I had the room already and uh, I just needed to fill it with characters. I filled it with a guy who has a magnificent mustache, mysterious Japanese guy, and uh, unknown couple, which is actually not a couple, and myself. I have the screenshots of those people on my phone. I was gathering them from their accounts and just websites, like a stalker. And uh, if I wouldn't do this project, they would never know that I have their pictures on my phone. Have you ever thought about this? How many people making screenshots of you from your social networks and what for? Because you look awesome, because you have a cool outfit, because you look idiotic, or because you have cool nails. There are a lot of more creepy reasons, but I wouldn't let my imagination go too deep with that. I'm saving people because I'm planning to use their photos as a reference for my drawings. I will start from myself. Of course, I am the biggest part of my inspiration. I am same easily getting inspired by myself as getting disappointed by myself. And this roller coaster is driving me insane. I have no explanation to the tender tiger, tiger hugging me, but he's wearing a jumpsuit I found in Instagram. The store is located in Ho Chi Minh City and I'm in love with these jumpsuits. And now I definitely want to buy one, but the thing is that they don't deliver such a disappointment. First I contacted Dave. I met Dave a few times and we were introduced, but we never really talked and our longest conversation was like, hi, what's up? I wrote my very first message to him on Facebook, which was pretty long as you can see. I made him aware that he's on my picture and I explained my idea. That was something like, hi Dave, 
you have magnificent mustache, so th the thing is that I drew this picture and I filled it with five real characters, you one of them, I want to meet everyone and make short videos and uh, make a small documentary about it, blah blah blah. So it's Dave from my drawing. Then I contacted second guy. I met him at few parties, but we weren't introduced. Once I borrowed, actually took because I didn't give it back, a hair band from him. That's exactly what I wrote to him with all those huge texts explaining what I want to do. And uh, that he has a pretty mysterious and noticeable appearance. His name is Sean. By googling dance floor in Hanoi, I found this picture which I liked. I didn't put attention to the photographer's name, neither the place where this picture was taken, just took a couple from middle as a reference for my drawing. They seemed so cool on photos, so yeah. Later I went to website and uh, the, where the photo was posted in search of the name of photographer. I was so surprised when I saw his name because I already met this guy a week ago at some other party and we actually already shared contacts. And I saw that this photo was taken in Savage at last party at old location where I was as well. Well, that was easier than I suspected and at the same time I got, I got this weird feeling how everything is connected and how I love to untangle the tangle. It wouldn't be so interesting if I would be here for a long time and already would know everyone around Hanoi, but it's certainly entertaining for me as a stranger here. So we met with Samo and he gave me the contact of the girl from the photo. That was quite a funny moment to write to girl which I saw only on this photo and she has no clue who am I and I would never recognize her on the street. Her name is Mon and she has no clue who is this guy near her in the photo. He was just passing by at the moment when Sama's camera caught them together. That was the trickiest part, to find a guy without any recognizable characteristics. From the back of the head, black hair, black shirt, even I wouldn't recognize myself in the same position. I posted this photo on Facebook in Hanoi community with audience of around 140,000 members. Of course, there were a lot of jokers and no certain answers. But at the party at Savage when I was filming guys, I met one strange character who was sure that the guy from photo is his friend and he's on the picture as well in the shadows on the background. And as more, he, as more he was trying to persuade me, the less I believed him. So excited in his persuasion he seemed. But I took the Facebook contact of his friend and actually contacted him. And luckily it turned out to be him. He also saw the advertisement but didn't put attention to it. Only after his friend pointed him out on the picture, he remembered the exact moment when the photo was taken. It's Kevin with his new haircut. One more character I want to add to this video, you hear his music now, <laughs> it's Max. So I just want to say that there are no unimportant things in life and it's possible to feel with sense every step and make life more interesting for yourself and for people around. I believe that this video had sense. 